Welcome back, DCS Hacks fans. It's Cabby599 with you again on uh, Garf's channel. Hey, recently I was doing a project with Garf and the Avalanche, and I was trying to explain to them how to fly a military overhead pattern. And so I thought I'd just go to YouTube and show them a video, but when I got to YouTube, I didn't really find anything that talked about how the whole military overhead pattern worked. I mean, there's a whole bunch of different uh, videos that guys make on how to do an overhead break and the pattern to a landing, but they don't talk really about uh, closed patterns and outside downwinds and VFR entry points, things like that. There was one for the T6, uh, but it had power settings and everything. It, it took like 25 minutes. So then I realized I think I'm gonna have to make my own video. So here it is. How to do a military overhead pattern, how it works. We're gonna use um, a simulated Nellis runway 21 right. Um, and you can see my little T-30, my black T-38 of course. Uh, they're at about five mile initial, nothing's to scale here, okay? So when you request an overhead pattern with a tower, tower, Dragon 1-1 one, one requests the overhead. Tower will say, report five mile initial. So normally they will grant, or I, they will have you report either anywhere from around three to five mile initial. And when you get to that point, you're gonna call Dragon 1-1 one, one is initial. And then you're gonna fly up at pattern altitude and fly over the runway until you get to the first third of the runway, which is called break zone. At that point, you're gonna go into an overhead break, which is typically 60 degrees of bank, two Gs for fighter type aircraft. And then you're gonna end up on inside downwind. Now, inside downwind is where you're gonna decelerate the aircraft and configure the aircraft. And inside downwind only is associated with coming up initial. And I'll explain that a little bit more later when we get to the closed pattern. So here's where we're gonna decelerate, configure the airplane until we reach what's called the perch point, which is a, essentially a 45 degree angle over your shoulder to the threshold. Get the airplane trimmed up and slowed down, and then you're gonna be doing what's called the descending final turn until you roll out on roughly around a three quarter mile final for your fighter type aircraft until you do your touch and go accelerate the airplane, clean it up, and then you're gonna request closed. Closed pattern is to try to keep the aircraft close to the runway so you can do multiple touch and goes, as many as you can until you run out of fuel. Once they grant you a closed, you're gonna be doing a climbing turn back up to pattern altitude, and then now you're gonna be on closed downwind. Remember earlier I said inside downwind is only associated with coming up initial. When you do a closed pull up, you're gonna roll out on closed downwind. The reason the military made this type of pattern is that they can cram more airplanes in a smaller space. So therefore, while, while you are doing this descending final turn, some other guy might come rushing overhead. That's why it's called an overhead pattern. Okay, and then that way they can pack more airplanes into a smaller space and more airplanes can do touch and goes. So let's take a look at this at semi real time coming from five mile initial. Of course, you just called initial. So you're gonna be coming up now in a T-38 F5. That's typically 300 knots. Okay, uh, most uh, other fighter type aircraft anywhere from 250 to 300 knots at pattern altitude, into the brake zone, into the brake, decelerating on inside downwind, configuring until you reach a perch point and then a descending final turn until you roll out on roughly three quarter mile final and you do your touch and go, clean up the airplane, accelerate, request closed, closed approved. You do a closed pull up on the closed downwind 
and do another final turn and do as many touch and goes as you want until you run out of fuel or time, whichever occurs first. You may be wondering, hey, what happens if you request closed and you're denied? Eh. Unable closed, breakout, report flex. Or they may tell you, execute local climb out at or above 4,000, report flex. Well, flex in this case is a, what's called a VFR entry point. So now you're gonna fly what's called the outside pattern, okay? This is a bigger pattern, takes longer to get around. That's why you do, you wanna stay in the closed pattern so you can do more touch it goes. So at this point, you're gonna have to do a climbing turn perpendicular to the runway. And that's called the crosswind, turning on to outside downwind. Don't forget to report flex. You're gonna continue on outside downwind until you get to 90 to initial, until you reach 45 to initial and then back on to initial reporting initial now you're in the overhead pattern again into the break you're on inside downwind configuring slowing descending final turn roll out on three quarter mile final do your touch and go clean up the airplane accelerate request closed closed approved close pull up on the close downwind and here's what it looks like in real life. All right, guys, that's all I really have for you today. Hope you learned something, and don't forget about Garfy there. Let's give him a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. And remember, 